Cleopatra, the fascinating last ruler of ancient Egypt, graced the tumultuous landscape of the 1st century BC, a period marked by intricate political intrigues and societal upheavals. And her storied existence unfolds like a captivating narrative, rich with multifaceted layers that collectively create a vibrant tapestry of her persona, celebrated for her linguistic prowess. She not only adeptly maneuvered through the intricate web of political complexities but also showcased an intellect that elevated her above her contemporaries, and transcending her political acumen. Cleopatra demonstrated a profound fascination with aesthetics, adorning herself with exclusive cosmetics such as gold dust and pearls to amplify her majestic charm, and, in a narrative twist that adds an extra layer of intrigue, she maintained an asp, a venomous serpent, as an unconventional pet, symbolizing both peril and the meticulously crafted royal imagery she cultivated, thereby ensuring that her opulent and distinct life remains eternally entwined with our collective imagination, leaving an indelible mark on the annals of history. Napoleon Bonaparte, born in Corsica in 1769, rose to fame as a military and political leader, eventually becoming the emperor of the French. His military brilliance was evident in campaigns like those in Italy and Egypt, and he left a lasting impact with the Napoleonic Code, a legal system influencing modern principles worldwide. The Battle of Austerlitz in 1805, often considered his masterpiece, showcased Napoleon's ability to outmaneuver larger armies despite his modest stature of around 5 feet 6 inches. His charisma and military acumen earned the loyalty of his troops. Napoleon's ambitious European expansion led to the French Empire, where his family held key positions. However, setbacks, notably the ill-fated invasion of Russia in 1812, resulted in significant losses for the Grand Armée. Exiled to Elba in 1814, Napoleon returned briefly in 1815 during the Hundred Days but was defeated at Waterloo. Subsequently, he spent the rest of his life in exile on the remote island of St. Helena, passing away in 1812. Joan of Arc was born in 1412 in Domremy, a region in northeastern France, during the early 15th century. At that time, France was engulfed in the Hundred Years' War, a long conflict where England sought control over France. In this challenging period, Joan had a dream in 1429, where she believed that God instructed her to lead an army to save France. Inspired by this dream, Joan donned military attire and led the French army in the Battle of Orléans. With her brave leadership and strategic skills, she successfully guided the French forces, contributing to the coronation of Charles VII in Reims. While her achievements were remarkable at the time, Joan of Arc faced trial and execution in 1431 on charges of heresy. After her death, Joan of Arc was later canonized as a saint, and in 1920, the Roman Catholic Church officially declared her a saint. This solidified her significance not only in history but also in religious contexts. Genghis Khan, born in the early 1160s, rose to power in the early 13th century as the founder and leader of the Mongol Empire. His birth name was Temujin, and unified the disparate Mongol tribes through a combination of strategic military prowess and diplomatic skill. By 1206, he had earned the title Genghis Khan, meaning universal ruler, marking the official establishment of the Mongol Empire. One intriguing aspect of his leadership was his implementation of a meritocratic system. Rather than relying solely on hereditary nobility, he appointed individuals based on their abilities and loyalty. This approach contributed significantly to the empire's success, fostering a cohesive and efficient administration that spanned diverse regions. Despite his fearsome reputation in warfare, Genghis Khan was also progressive in certain aspects. He introduced a written language for the Mongols, promoting literacy and communication within the empire. His military campaigns were relentless and innovative. His forces utilized superior cavalry tactics, such as the famed Mongol horse archers, and were remarkably adaptable on various terrains. This flexibility allowed the Mongol Empire to conquer vast territories, making it the largest contiguous empire in history by the time of Genghis Khan's death in 1227. Alexander the Great was born in 356 BCE in a place called Pella, which was the main city of Macedonia back then. His dad, King Philip II, was a big deal because he united all the Greek cities under Macedonian rule. When Alexander was a young guy, he got to learn from Aristotle, this super smart philosopher. In 336 BCE, when he was only 20, his dad got assassinated. This made Alexander the new king, and he wasted no time securing his power and taking over. Then, from 334 to 323 BCE, he went on this huge journey, winning battles and capturing cities like Babylon and Persepolis in Asia. His army was like a powerhouse. Even when things got tough, he led them through deserts and mountains, defeating everyone in his path. 
by 323 BCE, he had this massive empire that covered Greece, Egypt, and parts of Asia and India. Sadly, he died when he was just 32. But his legacy lived on. His conquests changed the world, mixing different cultures during what's called the Hellenistic period. Even though he didn't stick around for long, Alexander the Great left a big mark on history. Thomas Edison was born in 1847 in Ohio. When he was a kid, he had trouble hearing and got sick a lot. But that didn't stop him. He was super curious and loved figuring out how things worked. In 1876, Edison set up a cool lab in New Jersey called Menlo Park, where he invented tons of stuff. His most famous invention was the phonograph in 1877. It could record and play back sound, changing how we enjoy music and entertainment. Then, in 1879, he came up with the incandescent light bulb. Before that, people used gas lamps and candles, which weren't great. Edison's light bulb made things much safer and more comfortable. It basically turned night into day. Edison didn't just invent things, he also helped create General Electric, GE, a big company that's still around today. His life was in a time of huge technological changes, and he left a lasting mark on the world as a super smart inventor and businessman. Marie Curie, a trailblazing scientist who made significant contributions to the fields of physics and chemistry. Born in 1867 in Poland, she became the first woman to win a Nobel Prize and remains the only person to have won Nobel Prizes in two different scientific fields. Marie Curie's groundbreaking research on radioactivity paved the way for important advancements in medical treatments, and her discoveries, like polonium and radium, have had a lasting impact on science and technology. Despite facing societal challenges as a woman in science during her time, Curie's dedication and intellect propelled her to become one of the most influential figures in scientific history. Her pioneering work not only earned her acclaim but also opened doors for future generations of women in science. Marie Curie's legacy serves as a testament to the power of determination and the ability to break barriers, leaving an enduring impact on the scientific community and beyond. Ludwig van Beethoven, born in Germany in 1770, was a crucial figure in changing music from classical to romantic. Despite losing his hearing, he made incredible music with lots of feelings. His early works were like Mozart and Haydn, but he created his own special style as he got older. One of his best works is the Ninth Symphony, finished in 1824. It's famous for being a great symphony and having the ode to joy at the end. This symphony shows how Beethoven could tell important stories through music, even though he couldn't hear well. People also love Beethoven's piano music, like the Moonlight Sonata, known for its intense and special feeling. His string quartets, especially the later ones, tried new things and were complex. Beethoven wanted to make really good art and wasn't afraid to do things differently. His music is still loved today, and he had a big impact on how classical music sounds, focusing on expressing feelings and individuality. Henry VIII, born in 1491, was a significant figure in English history and a central character in the Tudor dynasty. Ascending to the throne in 1509, he ruled England until his death in 1547. Henry VIII's reign was marked by a series of tumultuous events, and his impact on the nation was profound. His early years were characterized by a vibrant and extravagant court life, reflecting the Renaissance influence that was sweeping through Europe during the time. One of the most defining aspects of Henry VIII's reign was his tumultuous relationships and marriages. He famously sought an annulment of his first marriage to Catherine of Aragon, sparking the English Reformation. Unable to obtain the Pope's approval, Henry VIII broke with the Roman Catholic Church and established the Church of England, with himself as the head. This move had far-reaching consequences, transforming the religious landscape of England and setting the stage for future conflicts. Henry VIII's six marriages played a pivotal role in shaping his legacy. His desire for a male heir led him to marry six times, with only three of his marriages resulting in surviving children. The most notorious of his unions was with Anne Boleyn, which ultimately led to her execution. This marital tumult had profound effects on the monarchy and influenced the country's trajectory during the Tudor era. In addition to his marital and religious changes, Henry VIII left a lasting impact on England's political and military landscape. His reign witnessed significant military conflicts, including the Battle of Flodden and the Siege of Boulogne. Henry's policies also strengthened the monarchy's power, 
centralizing authority and contributing to the development of the modern English state. Despite the controversies and complexities of his rule, Henry VIII's legacy endures as a transformative and consequential chapter in English history. Vincent van Gogh, born in 1853 in the Netherlands, started his journey in art later in life after working as an art dealer and teacher. His iconic post-impressionist works, such as Starry Night and Sunflowers, are celebrated for their vivid colors and emotional intensity, influencing modern art. Despite a small output, Van Gogh's impact is immeasurable. His mental health struggles and tumultuous relationships, notably with Paul Gauguin, added layers to his turbulent life. Tragically, he died by suicide in 1890. Van Gogh's love for Japanese art, Japonism, left a lasting mark on his style. The simplicity and vibrant colors of Japanese woodblock prints influenced masterpieces like The Courtesan. This fusion of influences shaped Van Gogh's unique artistic vision, contributing to his enduring legacy. Leonardo da Vinci was born in Vinci, Italy, in 1452. He was not only a great artist but also excelled in many other areas like painting, sculpture, anatomy, and engineering. The Renaissance, a time from the 14th to the 17th century, saw a renewed interest in art, science, and learning throughout Europe. During this transformative artistic period, Leonardo played a crucial role. His famous works, such as the Mona Lisa and the Last Supper, changed art by being so realistic, detailed in nature, and using new techniques. Other artists looked up to and copied Leonardo because of his high standards and creative methods. Besides his artistic talents, Leonardo was incredibly curious. He filled many notebooks with drawings, diagrams, and ideas for inventions. His interests ranged from studying the human body to imagining flying machines, laying the groundwork for future scientific and technological progress. His impact goes beyond his time, making him a significant figure in the Renaissance. His ability to seamlessly combine art and science has left a lasting mark on history. Today, people worldwide still celebrate his achievements, seeing him not just as a brilliant painter but as a visionary who pushed the boundaries of knowledge and creativity. Gaius Julius Caesar, born in 100 BCE, was a remarkable Roman general and statesman. He played a crucial role in transforming the Roman Republic into the Roman Empire. Caesar's military prowess and political acumen helped him rise through the ranks, gaining widespread popularity and support among the Roman people. One of Caesar's most notable achievements was his military conquests, including the famous Gallic Wars from 58 to 50 BCE. His victories expanded Roman territories and showcased his strategic brilliance. Despite facing challenges, like crossing the Rubicon River against Roman law, Caesar became a dominant figure, ultimately leading to his appointment as dictator for life in 44 BCE. However, Caesar's rise to power triggered political turmoil, leading to his assassination on the Ides of March in 44 BCE. This event marked the end of the Roman Republic, plunging it into a period of civil wars. Despite the controversies surrounding his rule, Caesar's legacy endured, with his name becoming synonymous with power and ambition, leaving an indelible mark on Roman history. Adolf Hitler was born in 1889 in Austria. He became the leader of the Nazi party and later the dictator of Germany in the 1930s. His rise to power was fueled by his manipulative charm and persuasive speaking. By 1933, Hitler became Germany's chancellor, gaining more control and starting World War II in 1939. During Hitler's rule, he harshly enforced anti-Jewish policies, leading to concentration camps like Auschwitz-Birkenau. This camp in Poland became a symbol of the Holocaust, where millions, mostly Jews, were systematically killed in gas chambers, representing a dark chapter in Hitler's history. The atrocities in camps like Auschwitz-Birkenau left a lasting impact. The Holocaust resulted in millions of tragic deaths, reminding us of the consequences of hatred. Hitler's actions are universally condemned, emphasizing the importance of learning from history to prevent such horrors in the future. Reflecting on Hitler's legacy serves as a somber reminder of the need for global unity against hate and discrimination, striving to create a world where such atrocities never happen again. Marie Antoinette, born on November 2, 1755, held the title of Archduchess of Austria as the youngest daughter of Holy Roman Emperor Francis I and Empress Maria Theresa. She entered into matrimony with the future King Louis XVI of France on May 16, 1770, as part of a diplomatic effort to strengthen ties between Austria and France. 
During her initial years in France, Marie Antoinette faced scrutiny for her opulent lifestyle and extravagant spending, drawing criticism from the French public. Rumors and scandals tarnished her image, making her a target of harsh public opinion. As queen, she grappled with challenges amid France's economic hardships, contributing to her unfavorable reputation. The eruption of the French Revolution in 1789, fueled by social, economic, and political discontent, marked a turning point. The revolutionaries, advocating for liberty, equality, and fraternity, sought to overthrow the monarchy and establish a republic. Marie Antoinette became a symbol of perceived royal excess, deepening public resentment. William Shakespeare was a famous English playwright and poet who lived during the Renaissance period, around 1564 to 1616. That's like over 400 years ago. He was born in Stratford-upon-Avon, England. His works are still widely celebrated today because he wrote some of the most influential plays and sonnets in the English language. His plays cover a variety of genres, including tragedies like Hamlet and Macbeth, comedies such as A Midsummer Night's Dream and Twelfth Night, and historical plays like Henry V and Richard III. His words have a timeless quality that resonates with people from different cultures and backgrounds. During his time, the Elizabethan era, London's theatre scene flourished. Shakespeare was a key player in the Globe Theatre, where his plays were performed for the public. His works were not just popular in his lifetime but have continued to be performed and adapted worldwide, making him one of the most influential figures in literature. Shakespeare's impact goes beyond the stage. His contributions to the English language are immense, coining many phrases and words still used today. He had a knack for capturing the complexities of human nature and the human experience, making his works enduring and relatable. In the mid-19th century, 1854, London, John Snow made significant contributions in uncovering the causes of a cholera outbreak in the Broad Street area. While cholera was believed to spread through the air at the time, Snow questioned this assumption and began seeking better methods. Using a map, Snow marked the locations of cholera cases and analyzed statistics by comparing the water pump locations in Broad Street with the sewer system. The results revealed that the water from the Broad Street pump was contaminated. Snow's research provided evidence that people in the area supplied by the contaminated pump were getting infected with cholera, establishing the theory that cholera spreads through contaminated water. This discovery contributed to improvements in public hygiene and the establishment of clean town water systems in London, leaving a lasting impact on modern public hygiene and infectious disease prevention. John Snow is remembered as a pioneer in scientific methodology and medical statistics. Albert Einstein, March 14, 1879, April 18, 1955, was a German-born theoretical physicist and one of the significant contributors to modern physics. In 1905, Albert Einstein, at 26, introduced the theory of special relativity in 1905. This groundbreaking theory included the iconic equation E equals mc squared, revealing the relationship between energy and mass. In the same year, Einstein published a paper on the photoelectric effect, earning him the 1921 Nobel Prize in Physics. This work played a crucial role in understanding photovoltaic cells. Einstein expanded his theories in 1915 with the general theory of relativity, explaining gravity as mass curving space-time and addressing a broader range of situations. In the 1940s, fleeing Nazi persecution, Einstein immigrated to the U.S., where he continued his work at Princeton University. A peace advocate, he warned against nuclear weapons. Despite facing challenges, his contributions remain foundational to modern physics. Abraham Lincoln, born in 1809, was the 16th President of the United States. Rising from humble beginnings, he self-educated and entered politics, eventually becoming the first Republican president in 1860. Lincoln's presidency was defined by the Civil War, 1861-1865, during which he prioritized preserving the Union and ending slavery. Lincoln issued the Emancipation Proclamation in 1863, declaring slaves in Confederate territories free and his famous Gettysburg Address in 1863 emphasized democratic principles and equality. Lincoln was re-elected in 1864 and pursued a lenient approach to Reconstruction. And he was tragically assassinated by John Wilkes Booth in 1865, just days after the Civil War ended. Lincoln's legacy is marked by his leadership during a pivotal time in American history, with efforts to unite the nation and abolish slavery, making him one of the most revered figures in U.S. history. <laughs> 